Hi you people, how are you doing? Well, I've had uh, so many interests in uh, better antennas and all the rest of it for the, uh, the UV5Rs, which are quite popular, and I've been asked to make another dipole, so I thought I'd share it with you, and then you can make your own dipole. Uh, a dipole is just an external aerial that you can plug into UV5R, um, and it gives you a, a much better transmission and uh, receive signal. So um, it's... um completely free you'll see how much it costs you can work out how much it costs uh, so you get a couple of elements a couple of um a couple of these steel rods and get a bit of old clothes um the old clothes horse things or just as long as it's a steel rod there 70 centimeters each is what i'm going for because i'm going for four four six uh two meters two meters obviously but um yeah 70 centimeters then three washers you're going to need three washers and a screw for the end of each see how i've curved over the end now the measurement is from there to the end 70 centimeters don't include that little bit and then bend it um, it's 70 centimeters plus that little curvy bit okay um, right so I've got the three the three washers and the screws I'll show you how they fit together next bit is a get yourself a chunk of wood uh, round wood works best um, broomsticks a bit thin you need something a bit more chunky and you cut yourself off a sort of three and a half four inch section of that like this and then from that you cut off a slice so you end up with this and I've got two pilot holes that's obviously for the elements I'll show you in a minute but that's what you're going to end up with a kind of that shape all right that's key to the whole build that is we don't need that that's rubbish right next bit is the uh, what do you call that the T piece a plastic T piece I think it's a two inch um, it depends on the size of your pipe, it doesn't matter, but the two inch is easy to work with. Um, I think you can see how this is going to start to go together, and you're going to need another screw to uh, to join those together. So what I'm going to do, oh, and uh, your coax, I'll show you how that goes on in a minute. So um, I'm just going to put the elements onto the little block of broom handle wood, and uh, obviously it'll be... A, bit weird to film that one with one handed so I'm just going to pause it I'm going to pop them on and then I'll pick you up from there so give me a second okay what we've done is I've just screwed them on I've used the uh, help focus there you go so you can see it's sandwiched between the washers and I use the screw the small washer on the front just to taper for the, the screw because the, uh, the other ones have a bit of a bigger hole in them so it's just I've done it so you can see how that's squeezed into there and the other side see how they're both facing the same way as well okay that's it same again just sandwiched between the two washers so that's the element body if you like and uh, that goes inside here so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to pause it again and i'll show you how this goes together I just had a thought. Before we do that, I better show you the wiring. Um, I was just about to put it together without wiring it up. Uh -huh. Right, your coax, uh, the central core must go to the top. That's your transmit. Okay, so you've got to mark the top. Um, what I normally do is just write on it, top or whatever, just mark it. Uh, so when you put it together, you make sure that the central core is on the top one. And the outer cabling, you put it all together. And you attach it to the bottom one and that should receive okay so there's your wiring nice and simple now you'd stick a, a cable tie or something around the wiring just to hold it all still in that but for just for now i'm just putting it together quick just to show you how it's made and you can improve on it as you go so i'm just going to pause you again while i uh put it in its casing oh before i do little pilot hole in the back there and a little pilot hole in the back there. All right, I'll be back in just a second. Right, there you go. So you poke your wire through the middle there, in there, and uh, you sort of run the wire up and post it on with the wire, with the wire coming out here. So when you've got it mounted, the whole thing is kind of there, remembering which one was top and bottom. And then you can mount that on. Hang on a second. A little bit of wire. So the wire will be fed 
back through the pipe and it's very difficult to do this one-handed and uh, I'm just going to put you down a second there we go yeah, I should have got myself a one of those uh, camera stand things there you go right, sorry about that but this is just a kind of put together but there's your uh, your dipole and that sits out your window you can attach this to whatever you want to or stick a, a u-bend on it so it comes down you can use it in a, on a mast or something and uh, on the other end of the coax you're going to need one of the classic uh, cb type no, i haven't got one at the moment but the um oh there you go one of those i think it's a 239 or something it's called the cb end um, on the other end of your coax and that will plug into the adapter that you buy for your uh, UV5R that screws into the UV5R and then the end of your coax off of your dipole that's attached to the CB plug fits straight into there and then you are on air so there you go just a quick you know way to throw a dipole together for I mean it's cost nothing uh, but the, um, this one's being made for Dave um, and he dropped this bit round today. Um, the rest of it has all been found you know, in the junk pile. So uh, it's a simple dipole. Um, they work great. They work just as good as <laughs> any other aerial. I was getting out to 40 miles on my one. Um, so uh, there you go. Any questions, any queries, anything like that, give us a shout. Let us know. You'll stay prepped.